Gohan felt relieved because he had eliminated the monster that attacked them, and everyone regains hope that everything will be fine. But... In the kingdom of Makai, the great Makaioshins were furious with the defeat they had suffered. At that moment, we discover the name of one of the beings that are gathered there, Yudo Kuda, a cruel being with evil plans and dark and ambitions of only obtaining power so that everyone would submit to them. Vegeta was on his knees in front of his enemy, the toxins were spreading through his body, and little by little he felt his energy being drained. Goku had also been affected by the poison and could no longer move, and right there at that moment, the villain starts to say while the memories of the past begin to emerge. We were created by Makayoshi to be weapons, mortals. In this realm of demons, there are classifications. Beware the experiments that went wrong. Some of us have begun to empathize with mortals, and others have not been able to let go of their past lives. Therefore, they are the elite warriors, who are the perfect experiments. In this little phase, you've only faced scum so far, and I'm going to finish you off here and now. So thank me, because you didn't go through the suffering of facing the elite of the three supreme. Hey there, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's get back to the point. At this moment, Vegeta starts to smile and says, So that means that until now we've only faced the weaklings. <laughs> so I just need to finish you off to face someone really strong to test my powers. <laughs> Vegeta starts to stand up slowly with a smile on his face. He raises his energy to the maximum and says, You said the poison absorbs my key, right? So suck it up! Ha! Vegeta's energy was so powerful that everything started to shake and several parts of the fortress began to collapse. Vegeta starts alternating his transformations, raising his key even more. The villains scream desperately, and an intense glow covers the entire place. Chameleon, who was absorbing Vegeta's key, starts to emanate light from all sides, energy coming out of his eyes, mouth, and ears. And in a matter of seconds, he explodes while screaming. And Goku then says, When did you, when did you get so strong, Vegeta? And Vegeta simply responds, <laughs> Idiot, I've always been strong. Goku then asks, what exactly Vegeta did with the Chameleon Warrior? So Vegeta says, I don't have time to explain to you, Kakarot. Let's go. Vegeta at this point was anxious to find enemies that were really powerful. Goku and Vegeta recovers from having their energies absorbed and continue on their path. Vegeta was eager to meet the elite enemies who were extremely powerful. And meanwhile, this path continues. On Earth, Gohan explains everything that was happening to future Trunks, who is impressed with what he heard, and then says, Friends, I will stay on Earth for a while, at least until my father and Lord Goku return, so I can help you protect this planet. Gohan thanks him, and at that moment, they see people approaching. Those were Krillin, Tenshinhan, Yancha, and others. When approaching, Krillin says, Friends! We feel incredible power coming from here, and several places in the world are destroyed. These last few days have been crazy. So I decided to come here to find out what was going on. And the way I met all the people who were coming to Bulma's house too. Everyone gathered there, and Piccolo explains everything that had happened. And what was happening at that time. Tenshin Han says, Folks, I think it's best if we spread out across the planet. After all, if these beings are coming here for several places, we can split up, and if someone powerful appears, we get in touch with the others. Alright? I think that way we can keep the Earth safe. At that moment, Boma comes running and screaming, I did it! I did it! I did it! Eureka! And everyone looks at her in amazement. And Boma continues to say, I got this amazing thing that will drive you all crazy. And everyone watches when Boma pulls a device out of her pocket and touches it to her arm. The device begins to turn into something like an airband that covers her entire upper arm. Merlin then says, <laughs> So you have a fashion accessory and you think it's awesome? <laughs> she replies, Shut up and just watch. She presses a button that is next to a small screen where some numbers were written on a digital panel which she had on that armband. And suddenly she strikes a pose as if she's raising her key. 
At that moment, her glass begins to emanate a very powerful energy, and the armband begins to expand, transforming into a vest similar to the armor that Vegeta wore. Her hair starts to change color, and she starts screaming. Ah! And her energy increases more and more. In the small display that is on her arms, we see the numbers increasing rapidly. Boma's hair changes color and starts to turn blonde when suddenly a huge glow emanates from her. After the brightness rose, everyone looked in awe. She had an appearance of a Super Saiyan and her key was extremely high. And so she asks, <sighs> So, what do you think? Now I'm a Super Saiyan. Everyone is astonished with wide eyes without understanding anything. Even Whis is impressed and curious to know what was that. And Boma says, don't worry, I'll explain what's going on. She returns to normal and everyone approaches and she starts to explain. I've been analyzing the Saiyan nature for quite some time now. Well, mainly Vegeta's. And analyzing his cells, I discovered that the powers of a Saiyan comes from something called Saiyan cells, so I developed this device. With it, I can simply concentrate and duplicate these cells merging directly into mine, temporarily altering my DNA. This way, I can get this transformation. And further deepening my studies, I was able to develop this clothing coupled inside the device to improve my physical skills, making me faster, stronger, and increasing my energy to the point of becoming a Super Saiyan temporarily. The transformation lasts approximately 15 minutes, then it takes a little while for me to do it again. But the powers I can achieve can evolve like a normal Saiyan, and I can have the same skills. And the name I gave this transformation is... Super Booma! Whis is impressed and says... Oh, congratulations! Everyone is impressed and without reaction. Returning to Goku and Vegeta, the warriors have just arrived at a huge hall inside the fortress, a gigantic room that was completely empty. The two begin to hear the sound of chains dragging around them, and Goku looks at Vegeta and asks, You heard that noise and felt that presence, right, Vegeta? Vegeta responds, Yes, get ready. We're not alone. They look around and can't see anyone. They keep walking slowly and suddenly everything goes dark. Vegeta says out loud, Kakarot, where are you? And he doesn't listen at all. Everything clears up again and Vegeta is in a different place than before. He doesn't see Goku. He can only see a being standing in front of him with chains attached to his arm, heads down and evil grin on his face. And when Vegeta decides to approach, the being in front of him raises his hand and when swinging his arms, the chains go quickly towards Vegeta, hitting him and making him collide with a wall. Vegeta then says, Curses! Is this wretch going to use these chains as a weapon? <sighs> it was just what I needed. Then the being begins to whip Vegeta with its chains while laughing. Elsewhere, Goku was facing the same enemy that tied the chains around his neck and punished him cruelly, and Goku couldn't understand what was happening. Then the enemy begins to say, I am a parasite, one of the three generals of the Makai Kingdom. My master sent me to teach you that you will no longer be able to reach them. Vegeta tries to say something, but the parasite prevents him from speaking by trapping his mouth with chains. At the same moment, he slowly raises his hand slowly and says, Shh. You make a lot of noise. Inside that grandiose fortress trapped in a room, Goku and Vegeta couldn't understand what was going on. Right now, they couldn't help each other, for the enemy had trapped each one in a room so that they could fight each one individually. At that moment, we see Vegeta trapped by those chains. With his mouth and body tied together, he could barely move. So the Parasite looks at Vegeta in the face and says, I'm part of the Elite Three. I'm the Parasite. I'm the one who owns the chains of fate. And now your fate is death. <laughs> you wiped out everyone who was sent to defeat you, didn't you? So try to defeat me now. <laughs> Vegeta and Goku went through exactly the same situation and heard the same exact words, and the two found themselves trapped by the same energy. However, they didn't know 
At this moment, we can see Goku's hands clenching and his fists shaking. Goku couldn't say anything. At this very moment, we can see a little more about this villain. A long time ago, on a distant planet in the galaxy, there was a peaceful people who lived in peace. These people lived in peace and in that world there was no crime. It was as if there was no evil. But one day, a child was born with a heart full of evil. And from that moment on, that world that lived in peace would discover the meaning of terror. A few years passed and that child became a teenager, a smart, studious boy with lots of friends, a good family and everything one needs to be good. But something starts to disturb his mind. And a big turnaround was about to happen. One day, this boy starts hearing voices that influences him to commit acts that not a single being that world had imagined. The beings of that world took on a very special ability, but they had never used the gift for evil. They had a gift of creating illusions. But on that fateful day, for the first time in history of that world, someone committed murder. That young man, influenced by the voices in his mind, he had become a monster and from that day on, that world changed. A few more years passed and he had become an adult and he had already started killing for fun. In a world where there was no crime, they started to notice that people disappeared. And that way, they started looking until a certain moment they discovered that that boy was a murderer. Then, what punishment would someone like him deserve? Chaos to take so many lives. In a world where there was no such punishments as he would pay for his actions, exile. That's what the elders of that planet decided, sending him to another planet, where his madness consumed him and bloodlust caused him to commit suicide, so that he could feel the pleasure of killing if only for the last time. By committing this act, the great demons of the Makai realm, they had succeeded in their experiment. After all, the voices that tormented him were those demons that made him become his world's first assassin. And when he died, his soul and body went straight to the realm of the Makai, where he can hone his skills and gain a weapon called the Chains of Fate. Weapons that created a circle around his enemies causing them to enter a deep transition along with his ability to create illusions. He could simply defeat anyone who exposed themselves against him. And now, after proving how powerful he was, he was part of the three generals. During the battle, Goku and Vegeta are unable to move, and so he starts screaming and increasing his ki, thus managing to break free from the chains. At this moment, it was possible seeing them exchanging blows. Vegeta increases his power even more and Goku increases his ki to the maximum. The battle is very fierce, the enemy can fight on equal terms with the two. And then, Goku starts firing extremely powerful ki blasts. At this moment, we see something strange happens. We see that the fight is taking place between Goku and Vegeta who attack each other. And we realize as soon as they are trapped in that illusion and as long as they believe they are fighting their enemy, they are fighting each other. At that moment, the parasite with its real form appears looking from above a pillar. He was watching the fight and says, <laughs> I don't have to do anything at all. They'll defeat themselves and I can just watch. <laughs> With my abilities, I can control all the senses they have. And this way, they will never break free until I kill them or free them. I can kill them quickly or have as much fun as I want. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Earth, the Z warriors couldn't believe that Boma had created a device that would allow her to become a Saiyan. So the time needed for the device to recharge passed. Gohan then proposed. Hey, Boma, how about we try out those new powers you got? Let's fight. I won't use all my strength. I just want to see how strong you got. Confident, Boma responds excitedly. Ha! <laughs> this is gonna be my first official fight as a warrior. I won't hold back. I don't want to see you complaining after you've taken a beating from the mighty Boma. At this moment, Kuralin speaks in a whisper. But the name wasn't Super Boma. And Boma listens and says, 
Oh, I haven't decided on the name yet, but I'm still much more powerful than you. Gohan, Boma, and the others decide to go to a more secluded place. After all, a battle between Saiyans is always devastating. Upon arriving in a deserted area, Boma prepares her equipment and prepares her device. At this point, she asks Gohan. You ready? Gohan says, come. Boma then makes a stand to transform. The numbers of her device starts to skyrocket. The armband she wears begins to change. Changing her attire, her eyes start to turn green and her hair starts to turn blonde. Her key pressure increases exponentially. And in seconds, she becomes a Super Saiyan. With all that power emanating, she says, Go on, here I go. Booma flies towards Gohan and passes straight by. After all, her body is still not adapted to all that power. Gohan says, What happened? You wouldn't come with everything. And then she ducks and turns, throwing a punch towards Gohan, who with one hand defends. And Gohan smiles and says, <laughs> You really are strong, but you need to train. And Boma speaks. Don't get flattered and hit with the other hand. Gohan grabs her other wrist. Now she's trapped. At this moment she smiles, and Gohan is confused. And then she lands a headbutt hitting Gohan's head, which makes him release her. Boma starts bouncing, celebrating, and starts to say, I hit! I got it right! I got it right! Everyone is impressed. Gohan bends down with his head on his face and says, <clears throat> I let my guard down. It won't happen again. Gohan goes towards her and starts to strike, landing several punches and Boma is hit. And Boma tries to defend herself, but Gohan is relentless. Boma raises her key again and unleashes a blast of energy towards him, which dodges. As he dodges, Boma with her speed surprises him, appearing behind him, hitting him with a kick, sending Gohan away. She darts towards him, and the blow again knocks him even further. And then again, she flies towards him, overtaking him and stopping in front of him, bending down and stretching her elbow, and she hits him with an elbow in the belly. Krillin, who watched everything, is extremely scared with the absurd power that Bulma had acquired. And then Krillin screams, Hey, Boma! You're very powerful! You will probably beat Gohan! At that moment, Boma looks at Krillin, getting distracted, and Gohan hits her with his key, causing her to fall to the ground. However, she gets up unharmed and screams, Not over yet! Gohan prepares, and in seconds, the time limit for Boma's transformation ends up causing her to return to normal. Everyone approaches ecstatic with what she had just seen. Boma was just upset that she had lost, and Gohan says, if you rain a little, maybe you can surpass my powers. It was really amazing what you managed to do by now. Everyone looks at Boma and notice that her nose is bleeding. And Gohan asks Boma, uh, Did I hurt you? And Boma responds, It's not that. For a human to turn into a Super Saiyan is not easy. So it ends up having some side effects. But it's okay. To be continue. What will be the trajectory of Goku and Vegeta now? What will these side effects cause Boma? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you already expose it here in your comments so that we can enter into that crazy debate. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!